I had like 50 followers, like probably half a month, six months ago. And uh, then started, I got reposted on some big accounts, got some big followers from that. And then some verified accounts started hitting me up about stuff. So it was cool for going from there. Hustle and Fit family. I hope you guys are having an awesome and amazing week. I know I am. I know you will be as well. I have a great guest. I have Corey Rosenthal. He's only 19 years old and he's also a fitness influencer. Uh, he's currently attending Indiana University studying business and media and currently working on his NASM certifi certification. Um, the reason we wanted Corey was his unique training style, which incorporates primal movements, CrossFit, parkour, classic. Uh, calisthenics, balancing, and Olympic lifts. So that's just to name a few of the things that we know what he can do. Um, if you're looking for a dynamic and unique way to build more flexibility and develop a solid six pack without having to go to the gym all the time, uh, then this is an interview you really want to listen to. Hey, Corey, how's it going? Good, good. Appreciate the uh, warm introduction. It means a lot. Oh man, it's our pleasure, man. Like uh, as I was saying earlier, 19 years old, doing so many amazing things. Yeah, I appreciate I mean, that. So what's your story? How did you get into all of this? Um, I started when I started going to the gym. I, I'm actually fortunate. My dad owns a gym back at home called Ovox in, uh, back at New Jersey. Right now I'm in Indiana, but, uh, I was 17 years old doing like awesome, like crazy workouts at the gym. And one of my uh, buddies comes up to me and he's like, do you, do you like record your workouts? And like, I was cocky at the time. So I was like, yo, what did this guy just say to me? And, like, <laughs> I know it. And, I know it. and he was like, nah, seriously, like, you should start recording them. Like get an Instagram and like start putting up your videos. So I listened to that and then not until last year, my page started blowing up and then started getting reposted on some accounts. So got fortunate with that and uh, I just went from there. Wow, that's crazy. And I, I've seen you doing jumps on the cars. I see you doing yeah. back flips, front flips, yeah, lifting man. weights while running. I mean, what inspired you to do all these different training styles? Um, I have this big inspiration, this guy named Devin Lavowski. I seen him do it. He's a, uh, he's a big head at, uh, at Gymshark and uh, he owns a brand called Performix. And, uh, when I was younger, I, I never really had Xbox, PS4. So I would never like be on there and wasting time. I would always be on my trampoline doing backflips, front flips. So that's where I got that background from. And then I kind of gave that up, but I just started doing that again over quarantine, picked that up again. And then just adding more to my reservoir and keep adding more to my inventory and just add more flexibility that I could like show people what else to do, you know? Oh man, that's amazing. And is there a reason why, so like, tell people why they should incorporate different um, body movements and mechanics other than yeah. just going to lifting weights the same way. Yeah, I mean, for that, what you're saying, it's good to shock your body instead of hitting like compound movements seven days a week, like bench, deadlift, squat, like I'm, I'm not really the guy to bench out the squat every day. Like I like to shock my body. Like Monday I'll bench. Then Tuesdays I'll do back flips because that's how I feel sore. Like I'm not doing the normal stuff at the gym where people are like doing body weight or powerlifting. Like it's good to mix stuff up with calisthenics. Like I was saying balance and all that. So how does someone get started? So like, you know, let's say friends, I'm not doing back flips right now. I, I'm, I'm a, a basic gym bro. How do I kind of get, into the path of doing what you're doing into calisthenics uh yeah so for calisthenics i uh kind of just started doing like push-ups pull-ups all of that and then that got me to shape my body more into a calisthenics type shape and then from there i went into more advanced movements like the backflip i had some guy come over to my house like every day spot me on backflips he would hold my shirt flip me over it took that stuff took like a month to learn and then like just mastering it and practicing every single day in your backyard, literally just your body. You need no equipment. So like you really can't have an excuse not to go to the gym you have your body. That's all you need. <laughs> That's amazing. And then what is the balance? How does the balancing come into play? And, and what made you start doing that? Balancing? I, I've always had a good balance, I feel like. So I, I bought a balance board over the quarantine and started practicing on that. Just sit, standing on there for five minutes. Phenomenal core workout. That's honestly built my core a lot. And then uh, I wanted to challenge myself. I started doing squats on the balance board, like just more movements on the balance board. So just balancing in general helps everything with your core, especially. 
Oh man. So yeah, and that's the thing. I noticed that you got that nice six pack going for yourself and everything Thank like you. that. Thank you. <laughs> so it looks like it's all working for you and everything like that. So I mean, if people could break it down to like, you know, based on you know the time that you've been working out, what would you say are the top three things you'd want people to know about fitness? Like the top three things they should think about. Top three things I would say you're not gonna see results right away. A lot of times I see people work out a week straight and they're just like, ah, oh, this sucks. Like I'm seeing nothing. They give up and then they just lose. It's losing motivation. You always got to have that motivation factor. Like before my workouts, I watched this guy, Ben Lino Scott on YouTube. He has crazy motivational videos, five minutes of hyping you up, then listen to music. I have like a whole pre-routine. And then second thing I would say is get a good diet down. You don't want to be eating fried stuff, processed stuff. Like for me, I'm doing this meal prep company in Indianapolis called Herculean. So I eat that every single day instead of like processed fry, like what I was saying. Uh, Cause that's honestly what the most, you're gonna see results through your diet. 80% of that's from your diet. Uh, third, I would just say, mix it up, shock your body. Like I was saying, you don't wanna do the same movements over and over again. You wanna shock your body and just keep hitting new routines, doing new supersets, doing new complexes, all of that compounds and just set goals. If you don't have goals, you're not gonna achieve them, you know? That's some good advice. Yeah. Why, why did, I noticed you said that you were also listening to motivational tapes and, and other things like that. Why did yeah. you incorporate that in? I started listening to motivation around the beginning of my quarantine, which was around like February, March. Mm-hmm. And just that's honestly because I, I started losing motivation. Like it's, it's a factor in life. People are gonna lose motivation. If you don't see results, you're gonna get depressed, sad, and not seeing anything. So. I knew there was some way to get it back up. So I would just listen to videos of the rock, like anyone just like going off on like motivation. And that honestly helped a lot. That, that gave me a major boost. I saw results from that. Oh, that's amazing. And then what, what, uh, so I, I, you know, I know you mentioned the rock. Uh, what else do you listen to? Like what other motivational speakers? Do you listen to? Uh, yeah. So I usually, the rock's my go-to. He's the man, <laughs> obviously. Um, I was saying the guy on YouTube, Ben Lino Scott, he has a bunch of like remix of motivation, like of different people speaking, like the guy on the Ravens, Ed or Ed Revis, I think his name is some guy on the Ravens, but he's awesome to listen to, but, uh, listening to like NFL motivational pep talks, just stuff to like fuel your fire and get going. Get it up and make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I, what, I mean, you're in school at the same time and you're doing all this. How do you fit this in your, your schedule? Like with- yeah, so this is my first week of sophomore year right now. Um, quarantine, it was easy. I had nothing to do. It was just this. But now, obviously, there's more challenges on the road. But it's just balancing out. Like, I, I wake up at 8 a.m. every day, do my classes, do my homework, get that out of the way, and then go to the gym later at night. I usually go around, like, 6, 6.30 um the plan of fitness here is open so i just got a membership there but uh it's just balancing your time wake up early get everything done waking up late you lose so much time in your day you lose yeah. like everything this, this might be an interesting question because you're a young guy but like your dad kind of insp- how did how did, like if let's say you were a parent and you're like how do i inspire my kids to eat healthier and get active and do those kind of things what would you say to them like like to get your your kids on the right track like oh yeah for sure you honestly if i had kids i would just tell them like you're gonna see results you're gonna have huge you're gonna be massive when you're older you don't want to let this time up now when you're young eating awful food playing xbox because that's how kids get like a little buff and stuff so you just want to start at a young age honestly i i didn't start till i was 17 i wish i started when i was like 14 13. <laughs> yeah i, I hear you <laughs> I, I wish i started that young if i could go back i would start when i was 12 years old <laughs> that's so true though it's so funny i think the same thing too i found that a lot of my friends were working out and not telling me i'm like listen you were starting at 18 oh, yeah i thought they were just they, when we were in our 20s they're just like massive I'm like how do you get so big and i was like oh you know exercise i'm like you've been working out since we're 18 i found yeah they don't tell you they don't <laughs> <laughs> i didn't tell you the secret yeah uh, that's awesome that's really great to hear um so i mean you know, you've provided us some really great information and I, you know, I want people to really get to know more about you. You know, where can people find you and, and, and get into your world? Like, what are you working on right now? Right now I have my Instagram, which uh, started to pop off lately. I have a bunch of videos on there of all my workout routines. Uh, I just started up YouTube. It's kind of small right now, but that's more of like a blog type of thing where I explain my 
pre-workouts, like my videos that I watch, my mindset that helps me get into. And then I, uh, I have a TikTok. I love TikTok, big, big fan of that. Who doesn't? But uh, right yeah, I just started TikTok. That's been doing good. But mostly my main accounts, Instagram, you can message me, DM me. I'll answer within 24 hours usually and uh, give advice for free, whatever you guys want. I have, I also have a 30-day uh, program on my Instagram. I think right now it's for $15. It was 10 but right now it's 15 And uh, that's all body weight. So when people say, like, I, I don't have a gym, quarantine, my gym's closed, that's, that shouldn't be an excuse. You have, what I was saying, your body. So that's 30 days of just your body weight, push-ups, sit-ups, all calisthenics. Nice. So, so just double check again. You do calisthenics, um, you do um, lifts, and then you do balancing. Yeah. So three days a week, I will do powerlifting at the gym, Planet Fitness, that I go to in Bloomington, Indiana. For three days, I'll do calisthenics, which I'll go in my backyard, do backflips, push-ups, all that. And then my last day, which is usually Sundays, I'll just stand on a balance board and just practice balancing. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. All right. My last and final question. That's the one I like to wrap up with. Okay. You have to, you have to leave the planet. Don't ask why. You just have to. Yeah. And you, <laughs> and you can leave the world with one piece of advice. And it could be health, business, or mindset. What would that one piece of advice be that you can leave the world? Um, advice... I would say don't lose motivation. Like I lost motivation. It really, like I was saying, it sucks when you lose motivation, you give up on yourself. You're not going to see results right away. It's going to take time. Um, for me, like my page, my, you want to like, if you start recording your workouts, for example, you want to, do you want to treat it like you have a million followers? Do you want to treat it like you're an official account? Cause that's how you're going to grow your company. That's how you're going to grow your videos. That's what I was doing. I was just recording videos. Like I had 2 million followers and then, uh, just not giving up on yourself. I was, ha I had like 50 followers, like probably half a month, six months ago. And uh, then started, I got reposted on some big accounts, got some big followers from that. And then some verified accounts started hitting me up about stuff. So it was cool for going from there. Man, thank you so much, Corey. You provided so much great information. Hustle and Fit Family. Check out his page. You're gonna love the stuff he's got there. He's doing flips off car and he's doing he's doing all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff. I saw him doing abs in the water. I mean, the waterfalls yeah. hitting him. Like, if, if you really want to find an entertaining way to actually keep fit, have fun. I mean, really and truly, uh, his page is really dynamic. So um, check him out. Look what he's doing. And honestly, hustle with your family. Keep hustling and stay fit.